Today I'm sharing my latest drugstore makeup hauls. Yes, hauls with an S, as in lots of them. So there we are. That's coming up next. Welcome back. I'm Kimberly. This is Pretty Over 50, where we talk everything makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman. I'm so glad you're here because I want someone to talk to about all my makeup that I've been buying. I seem to buy makeup in like little snack sizes. I'll go and buy two things here or three things here, or I'll hear about something and I'll rush onto Amazon and order it. So then I've got three more things. And before I know it, I've got a whole bucket of new drugstore makeup that I haven't even touched yet. So I thought I'd share the whole bucket of makeup with you today. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you're interested in more makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, make sure you stop by prettyover50.com where we have a lot more information just waiting for you there. Well, you guys, you know, I was thinking about my makeup shopping habits and they seem to be kind of all over the board. I'm not one of those people that goes to the drugstore and buys a whole boatload of makeup or goes online and buys, you know, 20 or 30 items. I seem to sort of snack size it. Like I'll hear about something that I like and I'll grab it or I'll be at the drugstore and I'll see something new and I'll throw a couple things in my cart and then I put it all in a big bucket and before I know it, I've got a whole bunch of makeup that I haven't even tried yet. So I'm sure I'll be trying these products out over the next month or two and sharing my thoughts and my impressions with you. But I thought I would go through the whole bucket today, tell you what I bought, tell you why I bought them, and just share what I think is meaningful out in the marketplace or worth trying. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing I wanna share with you is the Be My Everything palette from Joa. And you might be saying, wait a minute, I've already seen that. <laughs> And the answer is, yes, you have. You saw it in the sunset colorway, which was sent to me by my good friend Jeannie over at Get This Glowing. And I liked it so much that I went ahead and bought the other colorway, which is the Sunrise palette. Now this is from Joa. If you're not familiar with Joa, it's really only available at CVS. And I think you can shop on the Joa website online. I love this palette concept because it's one of those three-in-one palettes where it has bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And the Sunset palette, which I have tried, I loved it. I loved all three of the formulas, the bronzer, the blush, and the highlighter. So I was really excited to try the Sunrise because this is in a much softer, lighter colorway. I'm really appreciating palettes that have multifunctions. And I really wish the more affordable makeup companies would focus on putting together face palettes that cover a lot of bases because I think they're so handy. And they're particularly helpful when you're just really busy and you wanna be able to grab one thing and have it do a bunch of stuff. So that's why I picked up this Everything palette. And I think I'm really gonna be pleased with it. It's very affordable. It's around 13, 12 or $13. So I think when you're getting three great products in one nice package, for under $15, that's a great value. This particular package is one of those cardboard packages that has a nice kind of snappy closure. Can you hear it? <laughs> it's kind of like metallic, which I like. I think this would be great to travel with because you don't have to worry about the mirror breaking. You get three products in it. It's not very big. You can see by the size of my hand. And it's got that magnetic closure, which I think is a nice feature when you're traveling. So the Be My Everything from Joa, you'll probably be seeing this in a couple of Get Ready's With Me's in the next coming weeks. The next item I picked up was actually on my makeup shopping list a few weeks back, maybe a month or so back. And I'll have to say that I've tried it and it's a disappointing fail for me. This is the Oaks For You Cream Bronzer from Wet n Wild. And I'd heard so much about it and so many people really loved it. Some people even say that it was a dupe for the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. So you can see the color right here. I went ahead and tried this a few weeks ago and I actually tried it twice. And here's the problem for me with this particular color. First of all, I love the formula. The formula is yummy and wonderful and it blends in beautifully. And I just so wish that they had it in more colorways. Here's the problem with this color and I'll see if we can't see it as I sheer this out. My experience with this color is that it has almost a yellow ochre undertone. It's not even gold, it's more yellow ochre, which is not flattering on my skin tone. Anything with a yellow in it just doesn't work for me. 
It may work for someone with a deeper, richer skin tone or more olive in their skin. I'm not sure, but this color unfortunately just made me look almost ill. It makes me sad because this is really a nice formula and it's very affordable. I just wish this color was not so ochre or so kind of muddy yellowy. It's just not a very, very pretty color, at least for my skin tone. If you've used the Oaks for you from Wet n Wild, put a comment down below and tell me how it works for you. I'm thinking maybe it's just my skin and maybe it works for a lot of other people. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular bronzer. The next thing I picked up was an eyeshadow primer. And you guys might have heard me say in my videos the last few times, if someone has an eyeshadow primer that they love, make sure that you put it in the comments because I want to try it. I've been using the Milani eyeshadow primer. Here, I'll, I'll show it to you. I've been using this eyeshadow primer for like six months and I've hardly even tried another eyeshadow primer because I'm so happy with it. I really want to kind of branch out and try other eyeshadow primers. So I picked up this Photo Focus eyeshadow primer from Wet n Wild. I heard about it from another gal, a much younger gal than me on YouTube and she says that she absolutely loves it. I don't even remember what the price was. I think it was just you know, four or five dollars, something like that. So I'm going to be giving this a try in my next Get Ready With Me's and I'll let you know how I like it. However, if you have an eyeshadow primer that's an affordable drugstore option that you love, that's not the Milani because we all know I love the Milani, make sure you put it in the comments down below so I can try it and share my thoughts with you. I'm sure that there are a lot of people that would like to find out more eyeshadow primers than just the Milani and maybe this even Wet n Wild. The next product is the Cody Airspun Powder. And if you haven't heard about this, <laughs> I'm surprised because this is just almost a cult favorite with a lot of people and I had never tried it. It had been on my shopping list for a long time and I just would pick something else instead of this, but I finally just bit the bullet and go went ahead and purchase it. I've heard so much about this powder and a lot of people say it's their holy grail powder, which is just so funny to me because Cody, the Cody brand has been around forever. I have not used this. I haven't even opened it up. I did notice that I can take the top off and show you that it has like a little powder puff on the inside. So, you know, maybe you could dip the powder puff and, and powder your face. Remember that? I can remember my grandmother doing that forever ago. I'm sure I'll use something like a, a brush or a beauty sponge or something like that. So the Cody Airspun, oh gosh, it's got that great smell that kind of Oh my gosh, that brings back memories. It's sort of the Noxzema smell, but more florally. If someone knows what it is, make sure you put it in the comments down below. Gosh, I think I'm gonna be sniffing this. It just, oh gosh, it smells so good. It makes me happy to smell it. So anyway, the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I also am going to be putting on my list the Cody Airspun Loose Highlighter. I've heard good things about that too, but let's go ahead and we'll give this a try over the coming weeks. I'll let you know my thoughts about it. It's really affordable. I'm sure it was it was under $10 and it might have even been around the $5 mark. So it's really, really affordable. And if it's a good loose powder, then that's a great find. I have been trying a new primer and you guys know that I'm a big fan of the e.l.f. primers. I've used their mineral infused primer and currently have a big love affair with the e.l.f. putty primer. But I wanted to branch out and try a few more primers and I've been hearing a lot about the Revlon Photo Ready Primer and I went ahead and picked it up. This is the Perfecting Primer. I think there's also a pore filling version, but this is the Perfecting Primer and I've used it a number of times now. I think I've used it maybe six or seven times and I really like it. I really do like it. It has such a blurring effect. It's light on the skin. Here, let me put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'll show you. It just comes out in kind of this white creamy thing and it really seems to blur my pores out. You can see it right there. And smooth my face. I'm not sure that it holds on to my concealer under my eyes as well as my e.l.f. putty primer, but I am really, really pleased with this primer. It's just got such a blurring finish when I put it on. It's around $10, $12, something like that. So I think it's very affordable. It's from Revlon. You can pick it up at almost any drugstore. I think I got mine off of Amazon. And I'm enjoying this primer and I'll have, you know, kind of my thoughts and my whole impression of it in a couple of weeks and I'll share with you how it really did work for me. <laughs> 
the next product you guys are going to laugh and it's still in its packaging if you watch my videos you know that i have hopped on the eyeliner train and i can't seem to get off i did winged eyeliner in a video gosh a few weeks back and now i have to do eyeliner with every look it just doesn't seem to to look quite right with me unless I've got eyeliner on. Now today I've got eyeliner on, but I didn't do a wing, but the wing has become a really big thing. And I'm fascinated with really truly perfecting doing a wing on older, mature, wrinkly eyes, which mine are. My eyes are very, very crepey. The skin is not smooth, but I really have found a way to do a wing on my eyes and I'm sure on a lot of more mature eyes that it looks really, really cool and really good. And I'll tell you this, <laughs> my daughter who went to film school and she's done film for makeup and that sort of thing, she actually complimented me on my eyeliner the other day when I had a wing going on. So that was a real clue for me because she doesn't pass out the compliments real easily. So I'm on the eyeliner train and I'm picking up a lot of eyeliners these days. This one is the Almay Gel Smooth Liner. It says it's nice and smooth and I just want to try out a lot of different types of liners because I'm doing the winged look with the liquid liner. I've also done a winged look with the pencil and I want to try different ways of doing liners particularly for mature eyes so I can share with you guys what I've learned and maybe you guys can pick up some tips and tricks that'll be helpful for you if you decide to do eyeliner or jump on the winged eyeliner bandit. But be careful, once you do it, you might not be able to stop. So just, you know, fair warning right there. I did pick up a new foundation recently and this is the Candid Glow from Revlon. And this is a line, the Candid line that's been out for a while, but they've come out with the new Glow Formula. I have used this I think twice now and what I have, can say about it here and I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand and I don't have a full review on it yet but what I can say is that it is a pretty formula and I didn't rub that all the way in. I wanted you guys to be able to see how it looks on the skin. It's a pretty formula and it almost acts a little bit like a BB cream or a CC cream. And the interesting thing for me is when I first put it on, I thought, where's the glow? Because the glow didn't show up at all. But once it dries down, it does seem to have a glow that kind of illuminated look. One of the comments that I have so far is that it's very, it's a barely a medium coverage on my skin. It's definitely not a full medium and it doesn't even come close to being a full coverage foundation. So this to me is more of a light coverage foundation, but it does look really pretty on the skin. It doesn't look cakey or makeup-y at all. It looks like your skin only a little bit better. Those are the comments I have about this now. If you're interested in picking this up, you might wanna give it a whirl. I think it's definitely worth, I think it's around the $10 mark. I think it's definitely worth that. And if you do put it on and you find out you need just a little bit more coverage, you could put on a thin coat of the Fit Me powder or something like that, just to give yourself a little bit more coverage. I'm not sure how that will affect the dewy, glowy look of it, but I think that the foundation itself is just a, a nice product. I'm so tickled and you guys are gonna laugh with this next product and it's still in the packaging. This is the Soft Mink Blush from CoverGirl. <laughs> and this is also kind of a cult classic. Women who have been using makeup for years and years and years and know everything about makeup know this blush. Apparently it's sort of famous and I had never tried it and I'd heard so much about it and I had been meaning to pick it up and meaning to pick it up and I didn't and I didn't and I didn't and I finally just pulled the trigger the other night on Amazon and had them send it to me. It was only a few dollars, I think it was only four or five dollars, which really kind of made me laugh that I hadn't picked it up sooner. But you can see it's just the most beautiful color and I'll see if I can, there, I think the lights aren't gonna glow you out right there. It's just this soft, dusty, rosy with a little bit of brown tone in it. I'm sure I'll be wearing this in some get ready with me's in the coming weeks and you'll be able to see it on the skin. I'm really excited to use this blush, not only because it's such a fan favorite, but because it's CoverGirl and goodness knows CoverGirl was around when I was a little girl, which was 
many, many, many years ago. So it kind of has a little bit of an emotional, you know, attachment for me. So I'm thrilled about the soft mink blush from CoverGirl and stay tuned in coming videos and you can actually see it in action. Eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild recently and we all know that Wet n Wild is just has such a great price point and their eyeshadows are really, really good, particularly for the price point. One of them is a little quad that I picked up and it's called Silent Treatment and I'm just really loving the colorway in that. Isn't it just so pretty? What I'm attracted to about this is the soft grays, the kind of soft dove gray color tone in this in the colorway. I think the color story is really pretty. I actually have that on my eyes today and when I put the look together, I actually did it how they told me to and I really thought the look was very pretty. I'm always so surprised at how well these Wet n Wild shadows perform, particularly for being A, a drugstore makeup product and B, for being an inexpensive drugstore makeup product. This is a beautiful little quad and if you're new to makeup or you're just getting back into makeup or you kind of just don't know where to start with makeup, this is a good place to go because these little quads are super affordable, they're super versatile. You could actually, you know, use a couple of colors in here for a one and done and just be out the door with just a little bit of color on your lid. This is the Silent Treatment from Wet n Wild. I'm wearing it today. I really, really loved it. If you guys want to see some more looks with this, let me know. I'm happy to do it because I really am appreciating this cute little palette. The next shadow palette I got from Wet n Wild is called VI Purple. So I think it's sort of VIP purple. And I just loved the colorway in this palette. Isn't that just beautiful? These colors really speak to me. I just think they're so pretty. And I was excited about putting together some looks with this palette. Again, this is Wet n Wild, inexpensive drugstore brand. You really can't go wrong. And I'm always so surprised at how good the formulas end up being. I'm excited about putting some looks together. And I'm actually thinking about doing like a three looks, one palette video. If you're interested in that at all, if that you know, is something that you would find useful and interesting, let me know down in the comments and I'm happy to do that because it would be so much fun for me. I think this is a beautiful palette and I think that there are a lot of beautiful looks that you can create from this. Again, Wet n Wild, great drugstore eyeshadows. The next product I want to share with you is unfortunately a huge fail for me and it's from a company that I absolutely love. It's a lipstick from Milani. I had not really tried any of their regular bullet lipsticks. I have a lot of their glosses, but I hadn't tried their bullet lipsticks. So I went ahead and purchased this one. And this is, um, it's called I Am So Awesome. It's number 03. And I looked at the color in the store and I thought the color was really, really pretty. And I'll swatch it for you there. It's just this soft kind of um, brownish pink, just a real, real pretty neutral. Here's the problem with this lipstick. Unfortunately, when I put it on my lips, it just looks terrible. It looks dry, it just sits there. It doesn't feel creamy, it almost just feels, oh, it's not even waxy. It almost just feels like paint on my lips or something. Maybe it's just me. If you've used these bullet lipsticks from Milani and you love them, let me know. This is in the matte formula and maybe that's the problem. Maybe I just can't wear the matte formula from Milani, but I do love this color. I don't mind using a lipstick that I like and then putting a gloss over it to enhance the lipstick. The problem I have with this one is that if I was to wear this lipstick, I'd have to put a gloss over it to make it look good. And I just don't feel like that that's a good value for my money. So a little bit disappointed in this bullet lipstick from Milani. However, if you've tried the Milani bullet lipsticks and you appreciate them and like them, please let me know. And please let me know what colors that you like that you've worked with because I'd like to give them a second shot in the bullet lipstick department. The last product I want to share with you today is the e.l.f. HD powder and this is their loose powder. This comes in just one of the little screw top containers right here and it has the powder on the inside. You guys might know that I have been using the e.l.f. HD powder in the compact for a long time to set my under eyes which was really, really curious to me because I thought, how is it that a compact powder is my favorite powder for setting my under eyes? So I really had wanted to pick up the loose powder in the HD formula to see if I liked that better for setting my under eyes. 
I've used this a few times. I don't really have an opinion yet. It's a very, very nice, very finely milled powder. I'm not sure how it really works comparison to the compact. I still love the compact version of this for setting my under eyes. For some reason, it works for me. I'll give you guys my thoughts about this probably in another three or four weeks and let you know if I feel like this is as good as the compact version of the HD powder. So we'll see. Those are my latest drugstore hauls, as in S, hauls. <laughs> and all the products that I've picked up. I hope you found this helpful and interesting. If you did, it would be great if you could give me a thumbs up. I really enjoy trying out new makeup, so if there's some makeup out there that you want me to try first before you go spend your money, make sure you put it in the comments down below and I'll definitely put it on my makeup shopping list. I'm happy to do that. If you're new here, welcome. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and become part of the family. If you'd like more information on makeup, skincare, and style for the over 50 woman, make sure you stop by prettyover50.com. There's a lot more great information just waiting for you there. Thank you again for stopping by. It just tickles me when you take a few minutes out of your day to spend it with me, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate you. Make it a great day. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.